He died one week ago today, and the community is paying its respects. Officer Dominic Francis touched a lot of lives, not just as an officer. On top of his many roles at Corey Rawson schools, he was also a volunteer firefighter. And today, those who knew and loved him and those who just knew of him came together to pay their respects. Officer Francis was such a huge part of the Corey Rawson School District. People came from far and wide to honor his life, the life of a man who did so much. Our Chase Bachman is live from the memorial in Bluffton tonight. And Chase, what is the mood in this tight knit community tonight? Well, Jeff, it's quiet right now. The visitation is over. So now the focus shifts to the funeral tomorrow. And everyone we spoke with says the mood right now is dark as they get ready to bury someone who has meant so much to this community. But beyond that darkness, there are memories of fallen officer Dominic Francis. He was uh, very focused on safety for all, but then also um, had a great joking side to him as well. Ask anyone in Bluffton and they'll tell you a story about Officer Dominic Francis. He often staffed our football games, uh, provided security for us for our football games because he loved to watch our football team play and our other sporting teams as well. But he was a familiar face at our at our football games, so he was a special guy to our uh, campus community in many ways. Like Robin Bolas from Bluffton University. She remembers Francis protecting and serving. Bola says Francis had a connection to the students and athletes right up to the day he died. We have a criminal justice program and our students have often uh, done ride alongs with Officer Francis and so many of our students have connections to him and of course the entire Bluffton Police Department. Now it's the university's turn to serve as the site of tomorrow's funeral service. We're just really honored to be able to help and serve our police department in this way and the Francis family. For former Mayor Fred Rodebaugh, this community is family. Any loss of personnel in the community is it hits it, it hits pretty hard. I mean, they, these people lived here all their lives, their grandparents, their parents. He says the village of Bluffton and Corey Rawson schools are one and the same, and a loss like this hits hard. It does affect a, a large percentage of the community when something like this happens. You know, you figure you're in a small community, everybody's safe. Well, we're safe because of them. Safe because of people like Dominic Francis. And Bolas expects thousands of people to be here tomorrow morning, including law enforcement officers and first responders ready to pay their respects. Jeff. Chase, this is a sad time for this town, but what's your sense of the willingness of people to talk about Officer Francis? Well, Jeff, everybody we spoke to, they speak to what an incredible resume that Dominic Francis had. I mean, you go to officer, volunteer, firefighter, teacher, coach. I mean, there was everything that he did in these two communities. And as we have said before plenty of times, when someone like this is lost from the community, it is a loss that is felt for years to come. Reporting live in downtown Bluffton, Chase Bachman for WTOL 11. As Chase mentioned, around 5,000 are expected to pay their respects tomorrow. The funeral is set for 11 tomorrow morning at Bluffton University at the Summer Center. The procession route will go from the university to Corey Rawson School and then head to the cemetery. You can find more information on WTOL.com. And join us tomorrow. We will be streaming the entire service and procession right here on WTOL 11. We'll also be doing it online.